ஹலோ எவ்ரிவன் திஸ் இஸ் த ப்ரீ மார்க்கெட் ரிப்போர்ட் வீடியோ ஃபார் டுடே எயிட்டீன் செப்டம்பர் டுவெண்ட்டி ஒன் த்ரீ இந்த நியூ ஸ்டாக் மார்க்கெட் இன் டர்ம்ஸ் ஆஃப் நிஃப்டி அண்ட் பேங்க் நிஃப்டி ஆன் தேர்ஸ்டே நைட் யூஎஸ் மார்க்கெட் க்ளோஸ்ட் ரியலி பாசிட்டிவ் விச் வி டிஸ்கஸ் இன் டீடெயில் இந்த லாஸ்ட் ப்ரீ மார்க்கெட் வீடியோ இன் அடிஷன் ஜஸ்ட் பிஃபோர் அவர் மார்க்கெட் ஓப்பனிங் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் சைனாஸ் ரீட்டைல் சேல்ஸ் டேட்டா ஃபார் ஆகஸ்ட் மந்த் கேமஸ் ஃபோர் பாயிண்ட் சிக்ஸ் பர்சன்ட் எகெயின்ஸ் எக்ஸ்பெக்டேஷன் ஆஃப் த்ரீ பர்சன்ட் அண்ட் த ப்ரீவியஸ் மந்த் டூ பாயிண்ட் ஃபைவ் பர்சன்ட் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ த சைனீஸ் இண்டஸ்ட்ரியல் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் கேம் வெரி பெட்டர் தென் எக்ஸ்பெக்டேஷன் அண்ட் த ப்ரீவியஸ் மந்த் போத் தீஸ் டேட்டா மேட் த ஏஷியன் மார்க்கெட் ஓப்பன் பாசிட்டிவ் விச் இண்டீட் சப்போர்ட்டட் அவர் மார்க்கெட் ஆஸ் வெல் திஸ் ஃபர்தர் இன்க்ரீசஸ் த ஆயில் பிரைஸ் பை ஓவர் ஒன் பர்சன்ட் ஸோ டபிள்யூ குட் ஆயில் இன்க்ரீஸ்ட் அண்ட் இன்ஃபேக்ட் இட் க்ளோஸ்ட் அபவ் நைன்டி யூஎஸ் டால்ஸ் பர் பேரல் சிமிலர்லி பிரென் குட் ஆயில் இன்க்ரீஸ்ட் அபவ் நைன்டி ஃபோர் யூஎஸ் டால்ஸ் பர் பேரல் தென் கமிங் டு ஹெச்டிஎஃப்சி பேங்க் on friday fitse did their emerging index rejig review and as per that the expectation was that hdfc bank might received over 5300 crore rupees new investment that's the reason hdfc was positive on friday and it was the top nifty positive contributor i mean it was evident in the fi trade volume as well please have a look here the usual fia daily trade value either gross purchase or gross sell value it will be around 10000 crore rupees but on friday it was over 30000 crore rupees so those influence was in the market as well and today we can expect the post rejig influence i mean we cannot able to say or judge how much of the people going to profit book after the rejig but seeing the price movement it seems already to some level of profit booking was happened moving on auto sector increased over 1.5% due to individual stock positive info for example bajaj auto increased 6% as bank of america increased it to buy call and ashok leyland got the huge order book from uttar pradesh government so it increased near 2% so basically auto hdfc bank pharma it supported the market whereas fmcg power and reality down by 0.4 to 1% as a day summary nifty moved near 20200 and sensex closed to positive for the 11th straight session then overall the advance second ratio was approximately 1.15 so more number of stocks were advanced than it declined Regarding institution activity, both FII and DII were net buyers. FII net bought for just 165 crore rupees, while DII net bought for near 1,940 crore rupees. So that's what happened on Indian market on Friday. After that, all four major European index also closed positive. Here, regarding global momentum, there was a common misconception that it's just Indian market alone is increasing and it's defying the global momentum under all etc. That was not absolutely not true. There were one or two days not as a whole. In the last five trading sessions, all four Europe's major index closed positive on three and Indian market closed positive on four. And in fact, in the last one month, both Sensex and Nifty increased only 4.5%, whereas both UK's FTSE 500 and Japanese Nikkei increased over 6%. It's increased even more than Indian market. I mean, US market was on consolidation because S&P 500 is trading very close to 4,500, which is a major resistance like our 20,000 for Nifty. Generally, in stock market, it's easy to be misinformed, so recommends always look for the data. Numbers don't lie. Anyway, back to US market. Before their market opening, New York Fed released the New York's Manufacturing Index. The expectation was it to contract 10 points compared to the contraction of 19 points in the previous month. But against that, the data came as expansion near 2 points. This complete extreme end of data didn't go well in the market. In addition, US import price month on month basis increased 0.5% against expectation of 0.3%. Here as a major importing country, this import price will directly result in increase of inflation. So, these two stock market non favorable macro data profit booking and strong resistance of S&P 500 around 4500 made the US market to close significantly negative at the end of the day dow jones decreased 0.83% S&P 500 down by 1.22% and nasdaq crashed by 1.56% However, despite the positivity, VIX increased from below 13 to near 13.8. Then coming to Indian ADR, 
Despite all four stocks closed positive in Indian market, in US ADR all were down significantly. Especially Infosys and HDFC Bank down by 1.8%. In case of Gift Nifty, on Saturday morning it closed at twenty thousand one sixty six, which is kind of indicating eighty to hundred points gap down opening. So that's what happened on Friday and Saturday morning. Before going to Indian sector and stock specific, I quickly like to highlight the important things that we need to keep an eye out this week. First, on coming Tuesday, Europe's August month consumer inflation data is due. Then, on Wednesday, very very important, US Fed FOMC meeting for interest rate decision. Then on Thursday, it's UK interest rate decision, and finally on Friday, Japanese interest rate decision. So in short, it's a interest rate decision week. Repeating, first Wednesday US, then Thursday UK, and finally Friday Japan's industrial decision. Are some of the items we need to keep an eye out this week. Now let's move to India sector and stock specific. First on Friday in the after market hours, Indian government approves the defence purchase of near value for forty five thousand crore rupees from the domestic vendors. Here, please note all this value defence purchase is from the domestic vendors. Hence, it's huge positive for all defence sector stocks, especially HAL and to some extent Bharat Electricals. Then the second, Tata Steel got the agreement from UK government for five hundred million pounds to convert their blast furnace to the electric arc furnace. Third, there was a news about Lens Retail that. Both Louis Vuitton and Gucci is going to open their luxury store in it. Finally, as per stock open interest, Bajaj Auto, Tata Steel, Bharati Airtel, and TVS Motor got the long build up. Similarly, Apollo Tire, HTFC Life, Britannia, HUL, and Bajaj Finserv all got the short build up. As a summary, both US market and Indian ADR were completely negative. Similarly, Gift Nifty also indicating a hundred points gap down opening. However, there are some stock-specific positive, and also yesterday, Goldman Sachs released a statement that they are not seeing that Fed will increase the interest rate even on the November month. Here, please note, Goldman Sachs not talking about upcoming September month interest rate pause. They are saying Fed will pause in the next November FOMC meeting as well. So, will this statement save the day? Don't know. We have to wait. Let's see. Coming to technical. On Friday, Nifty opened on a positive note and consolidated with a range to close the day on a positive note, up approximately eighty nine points. Thus, on daily chart, it forms the spinning top candle with a short upper and lower shadow, which indeed shows some consolidation. And also, the up move in Nifty has slowed down since the last three trading session. The slope of ascent has been shallow. The reason we attribute to this price action is that it has reached the zone of twenty thousand hundred to twenty thousand two hundred, where the weekly upper Bollinger Band is placed, which is resulting in subdued price action. The hourly momentum indicator, though having a positive crossover with negative divergence, overall the short term outlook is positive. However, considering the sharp run up since last three trading sessions, we should have a cautious stance and be prepared for a correction. In terms of levels, twenty thousand fifty to twenty thousand is the crucial support zone, while twenty thousand two hundred to twenty thousand two fifty shall act as a immediate hurdle zone. Similarly, Bank Nifty also been trading with a positive bias, and it has now reached the zone of forty six thousand three seventy to forty six thousand four hundred, where the weekly upper Bollinger Band resistance and the previous swing high is placed. Thus, after rallying for three weeks, there is a high probability of a consolidation. Crucial support is placed in the range forty five thousand nine seventy to forty five thousand six seventy, and crucial resistance is placed at forty six thousand three hundred to forty six thousand four hundred. On the options front, twenty thousand two hundred strike got the maximum call option open interest. Followed by twenty thousand three hundred and twenty thousand five hundred strikes. Since twenty thousand two hundred is the short straddle, hence as per open interest analysis, twenty thousand three hundred is the resistance to break. On the other side, maximum put option open interest is at twenty thousand hundred strike. Followed by twenty thousand and twenty thousand two hundred strike. Hence, twenty thousand hundred is the support to look out for. 
Similarly, on the Bank Nifty, strong new number of put options were added at 46,000. Hence, 46,000 is the immediate support. On the higher side, 46,500 is the resistance to break. So, that's all in this video. Hope you all got some useful information. Please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video. So, it will help me beat the YouTube algorithm and also motivate me to do more. Please don't make any investigation based on this as I am not a SEBI registered advisor. I am doing this for my and viewers educational purpose only. Thanks for watching.